All right, everybody, I've been out here trying to take the exhaust off the Miata and it was not having it. So I decided I was going to cut it off. And now that I've got it loose and got some free pipe, we're actually going to do a comparison test of a electric reciprocating saw, an air cutoff wheel, and a 20 volt cordless grinder. Just see which one cuts the best based on this exhaust. So we're going to use a friend of mine who has never used these tools before since he doesn't know how they're going to react. So let's get to cutting. All right, guys, just a rundown of what we're using today. This is a Porter Cable 3 inch air cutoff wheel. This is a Porter Cable reciprocating saw with a Irwin bimetal blade. This is a Porter Cable 20 volt lithium with a four and a half inch steel cutoff wheel. Hit it. Like butter. So Beezus, what did you think of the air tool in this test? So the air tool did pretty good, but uh, you're really going to use that on something small, thin, uh, in tight, compact areas. So something that you couldn't get to with one of these other two tools. Okay. What did you think about the cordless grinder? Uh, the cordless grinder did a really good job. And honestly, had that been a piece of steel, uh, like a piece of bar steel or something like that, it would have just gone right through it. But where it's a big round pipe that's thin metal, you'd have to go all the way around it to get the job done. And last but last, last but not least, what did you think of the reciprocating saw with the blade? So reciprocating saw is always going to be your number one you know, for, for, for pipe or uh, tube steel, something like that, uh, just because it's got so much longer of a cutting area that you can work with. So obvious winner, the, uh, the reciprocating saw for sure. Okay, guys, this was just a quick and easy test with a piece of metal we had laying around. Like I said, it was the old exhaust off the Miata. This was a good test because this is something you would run into regularly. You have bolts round off on an exhaust. You have to, if you're custom making an exhaust, you have to cut it down to size. Just different things can happen. As you saw today, each tool has its specific purpose. Always use the tool that is meant for that purpose. There may be times for each one of these tools. Uh, the problem we ran into with the air tool, as you saw, was the compressor had to keep running to keep up with it, keep up with it, keep up with it, and it was bogging down. With the cordless, it just seemed like it didn't have enough torque at times, and it would bind up. But with the reciprocating saw, it was just like butter, just hot butter, just boom, done. So this is just a little something to think about whenever you are out there buying tools. Like butter, just hot butter, just boom. You can get me cutting shit with my glasses on. Mm -hmm. That stuff is not supposed to fall out, kids. See all that stuff? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs>